Good morning. So I got my helper today. Um, we're all here in the woodshed. Uh, I've done a whole bunch of splitting. Um, so I have to get all that stacked. Um, as usual, I apologize for dogs barking because we have dogs. So, um, that's pretty common. Anyway, so I want to talk a little bit today about, um, splitting wood and kind of what we do and why I do like I do. Um, I like my wood to be, um, on the smaller side. A lot of people think that I do it too small, but from my point of view, we work with these giant friggin' logs while we're out here splitting. And then, please stop. So, um, and then you get used to it and you feel like, oh, this is small enough. But then in the middle of winter, when you're loading it and you end up having a lot of really actually too big wood and you're having issues um, with enough, you know, to get it start fired up really well, then, um, you know, that's not a good idea. So anyway, I prefer to err on the side of smaller. Um, I guess this doesn't really tell you, unless you know how big my hand is. Um, but I prefer it a little bit smaller. But I have this theory, and it goes like this. It's the split one, keep one, um, or split one, stack one kind of theory. And so what, it, what my theory is, is when I get a piece of wood down to a size that I feel like, hey, that's plenty, I, you know, I would be okay with stacking that or putting that um, in the fireplace. I don't need to split it. Um, a half. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my granddaughter was getting the cat. And she's not really good at picking up the cat yet. So the poor thing was like, I help. Anyway, so my... Um, split one, stack one theory is that, so I had two logs, um, in this case, they're not split, they're just actual, just cut limbs, and, um, I'm okay with this, being, like, this size, and I had two just like this, so I took, so I took the one that is just slightly bigger, and I split it. This one, I'm stacking, so it goes on the pile, and this one... I split and so it now it goes on the spot pile and that goes for even the great big ones um, when I get it down let's say um, I make two halves or two eighths or two sixteenths when you're talking about one big thing and I feel like both both of those are a good size I'll split one and stack one that way I have um, the, uh, so I have one um, that's a big one, and then I have two smaller ones. So that is my split one, stack one. Um, a lot of people say, well, why even stack your wood? Because you're just going to use it. I have a good friend of mine that doesn't do that. He fills up his entire wood shed with just throws it in there. Well, that's because... I haven't been doing this for 20 years. I haven't even been doing this for 10 years. So as far as in Missouri and as far as in this wood stove. So I don't know, only like, I think it's been four years now that I've had this wood stove in this house. So I don't know how many, um, and, the, and up until this point, I've been working full time. So... I haven't been using only firewood to heat my house. I've been using furnace. So I don't know how much wood I'm going to be using this year or any year in the future. The only way to find out is to stack it and see how much I use. Um, also, I also want to know, hey, I want to be able to eventually, let's say a decade, 15 years down the road, I want to be able to look at a tree that's dead and I'm about to fell and be able to go, okay, that tree is going to give me X amount of wood. You know, let's say like half a cord. That tree is a half a cord of wood. Um, so that I can mark them all out 
and see what I'm going to have. I can fell them and bring them um, out up here towards the um, splitter and the woodshed and um, have them ready and it'd be easier because I've already, okay, well, I have marked, you know, X number of um, cord that I'm going to be using for winter. So that is why I'm stacking them. I feel like I need that um, time to figure that out. So anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry I ranted on a little bit. Um, we're over. Try to keep these under five minutes or about five minutes. All right. Well, have a good day.